Well, it is Forever Home Friday. We have Tara Acox with the Midland Humane Coalition here with us live in studio. And you brought a very sweet and special friend. Can you introduce her? Yeah, this is Tilly. <laughs> and she is a Chihuahua mix. Maybe Chihuini, we're not 100% sure. She came from a home where they had too many animals. Mm -hmm. and they weren't able to spay and neuter all of them or get them all the vaccination, vaccinations they needed. So she's also got a sister, Tegan. Tilly and Tegan, and they were litter mates, and they're very bonded, and we're hoping we can keep them together if that's possible. So, so tell me what is a good home for Tilly, and then also kind of the personality of uh, her sibling as well. Yeah, so Tilly's actually the more outgoing one, but she's still very timid and shy, and she kind of takes some time to warm up and get used to you. She was really friendly, yes, uh, but again, <laughs> just not 100% sure, you know. She'll just take some time really to get kind of relaxed and loosened up and that happens to a lot of our pets that are in the shelter because it is a very stressful environment mm -hmm. so we always recommend if you can do like a trial adoption for a little while and just kind of let them open up a little bit before you make a decision if you're interested then that's always a good idea so a good um, like kids or maybe older kids what kind of uh Right. Demographic. Probably not younger kids under 12, just because of her size. She is very small and, like I said, very timid. And that can be a recipe for disaster with small mm -hmm. kids because they don't always know what to look for in dog behavior. So older kids kind of understand and have that intuition where they can read body language and kind of pick up on that. So probably older kids or maybe even an older couple, like elderly couple, that's looking for a small dog pair that can keep each other company, that would be a great family for them. And what about cats or anything like that? Any reaction? As far as I know, she hasn't been reactive to cats. But like I said, that's kind of where that trial adoption period can right. come in. Great point. Or if you have other dogs, you can always bring them up to the Enhanced Adoption Center and let them interact with each other just to see if they hit it off, if they're friendly towards each other, you know, because dogs have their own personalities too. So They sure do. And she is very, very sweet. Um, she did come up to me and sniff my hand and, you know, was like, hey, what's up? <laughs> so she, she does kind of come up to you with, with some of that time. So she seems yeah. like she's definitely open, not like timid, aggressive at all. Right. So very timid and sweet. Mm -hmm. um, again, has a sibling. And uh, it's so great that you guys have the opportunity to introduce them to your dogs as well. But mm -hmm. um, kind of switching gears, you guys have some amazing events coming up. Yes. So we have our fur ball. September 21st, and that is our biggest fundraiser of the year. It's the most important event for Midland Humane Coalition all year. It's when we raise the majority of our operating costs. And there's just going to be lots of fun things to do. The only difference between this event and our other events is we don't bring our pets to this one, sadly, yeah. but we still have a really good time. <laughs> so it's at the Petroleum Club, and we're going to have lots of games, dancing, drinks, dinner, silent auction, just all kinds of fun. So if you're interested in that, you can find out more on midlandhumane.org or on our Facebook. And then we also have our uh, Enhanced Adoption Center Volunteer Orientation next week. And we do that once a month. And that's just if maybe you're not able to adopt or you're not able to donate, that's another way that you can give back. So look into that if you're interested. That's awesome. Two different events that you have going on in that fur ball as well. It's kind of like a uh, pet parent night out. That's right. Yeah. Get, <laughs> so a, get a sitter. Get a sitter. Go out on the town. <laughs> yes. No. And again, Tilly is just so sweet. And she she's just cuddling with you too. She's, yes. She's very, very comfortable sweet. as well. Mm -hmm. Well, if you have any questions about Tilly or the events that are coming up, um, where can we contact you? You can always go to MidlandHumane.org and we uh, list all of our adoptable pets on the adoption page with their ages and pictures so you can kind of see who's there. And you can also call us. We're inside the Midland PetSmart if you have any questions or if you want to see what uh, you can do to help, you can give us a call. And as always, we're on Facebook. We're always updating our Facebook. So, Ms. Awesome. Humane Coalition. Tara and Tilly, thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to check them out online. But we do have to send it over to Derek to see if it's a good day for maybe walking your dog outside.